Finally, what if we want to measure what our overall uncertainty is for an information source where the probabilities of the outcomes are unequal? The name for this measurement is entropy. Entropy is the average amount of information that we receive every time we get a symbol from an information source. The entropy of an information source x is called h of x. Here's the equation for calculating the h of x. If you're like me and you're not good with math, you might be wondering what that weird thing is that looks kind of like an E. That's a Greek letter. It's called capital sigma. It indicates summation, which means we're going to be adding things together. To the right of the sigma, there's an expression, the probability of symbol i times log base 2 of 1 over the probability of symbol i. And we're going to do that for the probabilities of all of the symbols of information source x. You'll see that underneath the sigma, it says i equals 1. That means we're going to start with the probability of symbol 1. We're going to evaluate the probability of symbol 1 times log base 2 of 1 over the probability of symbol 1. And we're going to keep doing this for every symbol's probability. Now, the m that's above the sigma, remember that m is the number of symbols that the information source can give us. This means we're going to stop when we get to symbol m, since there are no more symbols after that. So once we've evaluated the expression to the right of the sigma for every symbol's probability, we're going to add all of the results together. That's what summation is. For example, if we have a fair coin, its symbols have probabilities of 0.5 and 0.5. So we would calculate h of x as 0.5 times log base 2 of 1 over 0.5, plus 0.5 times log base 2 of 1 over 0.5 and the result is 1. So a fair coin has one bit of entropy, meaning when we flip the coin, we're going to receive an average of one bit of information. Now, what about the strange coin? It lands on heads 75% of the time and tails 25% of the time. Its probabilities are 0.75 and 0.25. So if the strange coin is our information source, what is its entropy? It's going to be 0.75 times log base 2 of 1 over 0.75 plus 0.25 times log base 2 of 1 over 0.25 and the result is about 0.811 bits. So for every time we flip the strange coin, we'll get an average of 0.811 bits of information. And you can calculate the entropy of an information source with any number of symbols. If you have an unbalanced die with probabilities of 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1, the entropy is going to be about 2.161 bits meaning on average you're going to get less information from an unbalanced die than you would from a fair die. Anyway, these are just the basics of information theory. It gets a lot more complicated than that.